Where do we even begin with Lucifer? While the name may be a bit deceiving, Lucifer is one of the most popular Netflix comedy drama series. After premiering in 2016, Lucifer Morningstar captured the hearts of viewers around the world with his stunning good looks, his off-color humor, and his ridiculous ability to solve crime cases. You probably haven't seen many members of the Lucifer cast before, as most of them are pretty new to showbiz. But let's take a look at some of the most popular Lucifer stars before and after they they were famous. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the bell notification for more videos. Leslie Ann Brandt Leslie Ann Brandt plays the amazing role of Mazikeen. She is a fan favorite character and never ceases to amaze us with her witty comebacks, her disturbing lust for blood, and also her kind heart. In the real world, Leslie Ann was born in Cape Town, South Africa. She could speak two languages, English and Afrikaans. She loves sports, but spends most of her time doing yoga, playing hockey, and even spending time on the baseball field. When she lived in South Africa, she would spend most of her time playing field hockey. She moved with her parents and brother to New Zealand when she was around 17 years old. That was a pretty serious move for the family, but they made the best of it and felt that New Zealand would offer them a much better life. When she was younger, she would find jobs working in retail and helping customers find items and working as a cashier. Throughout all of this, she knew that she wasn't doing her calling in life, and she continued to keep her head high while she worked her way through various jobs and careers, eventually finding her path as a technology consultant. It was around this time that she also became a model and would find herself in several local advertisements on television in New Zealand. She began to realize that modeling wasn't what she wanted in life, so she took classes to become an actress. And there were times I could have really used your blaze. <laughs> Kevin Alejandro. Kevin Alejandro is both an actor and a director, but he is most well known for playing Daniel and Lucifer. Kevin was born in Texas to Mexican parents. We don't know too much about his personal life, though we know he's now 44 years old and has been married since 2004. He had a child with his wife Leslie De Jesus, and the two seem to be as happy as ever. Kevin began his acting career early on when he appeared in the film Purgatory Flats back in 2002. By the following year, he managed to claim a role in the hit series Crossing Jordan, playing the role of Connor Marshall in the episode Fire and Ice. By the mid-2000s, he would take on one of his more popular roles in the Ugly Betty series, playing Santos. This is where he would gain a lot of his recognition as an actor. He was beloved by most fans of the show and proved what it takes to be a big name actor in such a difficult industry. Kevin proved that he was a very versatile actor and would take on all sorts of roles throughout the 2000s, starring in shows like CSI New York, Miami, Charmed, The Young and the Restless, Without a Trace, Sons of Anarchy, and so many more. He would finally make his way onto the long-running series yet, Lucifer, in 2016. So far, he has starred in 67 episodes and has directed two episodes as well. Well done, brother. Lauren German Lauren German is obviously one of the stars of Lucifer, taking the role of Detective Chloe Becker. Lauren is 42 years old. She was born in California in 1978 and lived there for most of her life. I was pretty shocked to learn that her father was a vascular surgeon, so this guy knows his stuff. We don't know much about the rest of Lauren's family, but we know that they came from England many years ago and have lived in America ever since. Lauren attended the Los Alamitos High School where she was growing up but she would transfer to Orange County High School of Arts in her teenage years before she decided to attend the University of Southern California as a young adult. She would study anthropology for many years, but we don't know for sure if she ever graduated. Did you know that Lauren attended high school with some seriously impressive people? Brooks Wackerman, the drummer for Avenged Sevenfold, was enrolled there at the same time as Lauren. She also attended with Jody Sweeten from Full House, as well as Jeremy Stomeyer, though it's difficult to call Jeremy an impressive person. The guy is a convicted killer. But still, it's interesting nonetheless. Lauren would go on to graduate alongside Brooks and Jeremy in 1995, though Jody is much younger and wouldn't graduate until 1999. 
One of Lauren's first major roles would be in 2002, when she played the role of Belinda in A Walk to Remember. She would star in countless movies after this, including The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, It Is Fine, Everything Is Fine, Love and Mary, and The Divide. She made her way onto television in 2000 when she played the role of Kimmy in Undressed. It wouldn't be long before she would find her first major television role in Seventh Heaven, playing Marie in the episode Apologize. She also had brief stints in The Lone Ranger, Memphis Beat, and Hawaii 5 but she wouldn't find a leading role on television until 2012 when she was in 49 episodes of Chicago Fire. Just a year later, she would audition to be in Lucifer, being granted the role of Detective Chloe Becker, the woman we all know and love today. When I choose to be vulnerable around you. Tom Ellis. Tom Ellis, the star of Lucifer, is also just 42 years old. He is arguably one of the most iconic characters in the Netflix original series, but he wasn't always as popular as he is today. Tom was born in 1978 in Wales. He would attend high school in Sheffield and play the French horn for several years in the city of Sheffield Youth Orchestra. After high school, he would continue his education when he studied BA Dramatic Studies at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama. He married his former wife, Tasmin Othwaite, in 2006, but their marriage didn't last. They divorced in 2014, with Tom remarrying in 2019, this time to Megan Oppenheimer. Tom also got his start in acting at a fairly young age, when he played the role of Ben in the television series Kiss Me Kate. He would also pop into several movies, including High Heels and Low Lifes, Buffalo Soldiers, Vera Drake, The Best Man, and Misconception. Tom would also find countless roles in television, though most of these were minor parts and less than popular TV shows. He would take on roles in such shows like Nice Guy Eddie, Wild West, Hobby City, Spine Chillers, Doctors, Walking the Dead, and Casualty, just to name a few. By 2007, Tom's career began to pick up the pace when he starred in an episode of Doctor Who, playing alongside David Tennant. After this, he would appear in Merlin, Sugartown, Once Upon a Time, and Family Guy. As his career began to take shape, he would claim the role of Lucifer Morningstar in the hit series Lucifer, which would send Tom's name into the spotlight and onto the pages of tabloids across the globe. After he became super popular in Lucifer, he would make guest appearances in shows like The Flash, reprising his role as Lucifer Morningstar. Aside from the DC comic series, he also starred in Isn't It Romantic in 2019, taking on the role of Dr. Todd. Being to tear his arms off. That happened one time. Or hanging him from a window. I solemnly promise that a man's feet will remain firmly. So there you have it, the stars of Lucifer before and after they were famous. Do we miss any of your favorite characters? Let us know who you'd like to see in a future video in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.